Hi, it's uh, day 267. Uh, some people have been asking about uh, the water system that I have here in the cabin, so I thought today I'd show it to you. Really quite beautiful. I turn the tap, water comes out. Uh, it looks like this is the hot water tap. It's got that little red drop on it, uh, but that's simply because when uh, we hooked it up to the uh, cold water tap, it uh, for some reason dripped all night. I can't uh, express what a huge uh, quality of life uh, factor this is to have running water here in the cabin on demand. And I have Lisa to thank for that. Uh, she uh, hooked up the plumbing while I was busy uh, digging the outhouse uh, in preparation for moving in. And I guess uh, she figured it was just easier for her to do it herself rather than try and explain it to me. But here, I'll take you outside and you can see what this is hooked up to. And there it is. Uh, all it is is just a uh, simple gravity feed. I've got this water bud, 110 gallon uh, plastic butt on top of this pole construction water tower and uh, it's just a couple garden hoses that run down. It just drops straight to the ground, curls up underneath the cabin and then goes straight up to the kitchen sink which is on the other side of this window right behind me. Uh, the other garden hose is actually for my shower system uh, which is still not uh, regularly operational yet but uh, I'll take you up onto the roof and then you can see the water tower from above. So this is the uh, side of the roof. Um, it got uh, sheeted in tin, so uh, there's not much of a drop to it, but uh, all the rain um, trickles off to the side into the gutter and then uh, runs down into the water butt. So I've got uh, all this catchment area, uh, this side of the roof, and I purposely put uh, the stovepipe on the other side so that all the creosote and ash and smoke, etc., that comes out of there doesn't uh, uh, fall onto the roof side uh, that takes all the water. So this is the view from uh, right next to the uh, water barrel, the water butt. And I don't know if you can see, but there are a few floaties. Some people put a, um, a mesh over the top to catch things. But, you know, there's everything from little hemlock needles to, uh, you know, bits of branches and that kind of thing. Uh, as long as nothing crawls in here and dies, I think I'll be just fine. I actually don't use this for drinking water. Uh, I use it for washing, brushing my teeth. Uh, and if I do cook with it, then I'll, um, I'll boil it. But um, yeah, I think everyone makes out okay uh, with this rainwater catchment. Uh, it's simple, it works, it's inexpensive. What more could you ask for? So that's it, that's my water system. Um, have a great week and I'll talk to you next Tuesday, thanks.